You've done a decent job proving you belong on the roster and shedding the memory of that Survivor Series match. But you want to really prove WWE made the right hire? Try proving you're not only better than any of the other superstars on the roster, but you're better than two of them combined. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a right on you. you. This superstar faces the difficult challenge of squaring off against two opponents in a handicap match. Uh, I don't know if I could say squaring off, Michael. Tonight is more of a triangle. I guess that would make you a circle, Saxton, since your commentary is pointless.
I'm sure you heard the latest episode of my podcast. I was wondering if you had any response to Tamina's comment saying you have fear in your eyes? According to her, even in the ring, you're looking to escape. Or better yet, how about you two have a... Second-generation superstar who's here to write her own. You can kick the ring out to trash tonight because there's no escaping the line. I've got it on a good authority that this stems from Tamina's disparaging comments about a certain opponent on recent podcasts. No podcast smack talk aside. Didn't multiple people escape the line? Like, I'm not sure that analogy holds up to Nonetheless, the referees will do their best to keep these two in the ring to settle their issues. Oh, by the hair! Whipped across the ring! That ain't right. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like a hit. Oh, an early pin attack. And she kicks out right away. Not even close.
She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Cheerio, LJ. Cheerio? Are you binge watching another British costume drama? Well, yes, always. But no. WWE is planning another Queen's Crown tournament, and this time they're really getting into the spirit of love for a monarchy. It's happening overseas at NXT UK. Well, that's pretty cool. You going over to cover it for ruthless digressions? Hey, pick me up one of those royal guard outfits, would you? No, I can't make the trip. But I was thinking you might. The spots have mostly been decided, but I've got an old friend over there, Tavish, and he can pull some strings and get you into the tournament. What are you still standing here for? Go pack your bags and grab your passport! Unless you've got something better to do. Sounds smashing. I'll go pack. Oh, I think I need one of those plug things to make the electricity work. Yeah, a voltage adapter. You can buy one at the airport. I'll tell Tavish you're coming. He promised to look after you while you're there. Oh, and do try to return with the crown, your majesty. Indubitably. Ah, there she is. I couldn't miss you if I tried, LJ. You're the spitting image of your own. Really? Well, not so much are you, look, but you both have a similar uh, quality, I suppose. Maybe it's a smell, something familiar. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, I, I think it's just me. <laughs> yeah, anyway, welcome to England. and get back home where the buses are normal and people know how to pronounce aluminum. But thanks for making this happen, Tavish. Ah, what's well, enough in love? I owe your aunt a favor or two and a fair bit of money, if I'm being honest. But that's my money and all that. Since I'm in mean, coordinate the tournament, it was no skin on my back to get you in. And everyone's absolutely chuffed your ear. Really? Because I got a message from Zelina about someone named Beth Spartan. Oh, I was hoping that wouldn't be an issue. There was going to be a spot in the tournament for a local UK competitor. But when NXT UK management heard you were interested in entering with a little persuasion from yours truly, they decided to give it to you instead. Beth Spartan was sure she was going to get it. I didn't mean to bump anyone, Tavish. No, 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 you didn't. 
No, really. I don't think it would have gone to Beth anyway. But turns out that people kind of think you used your arts connections to get a shot at the crown, which I to them is pretty much exactly what happened. So you're saying I've got a target on my back? Uh, I wouldn't say a target, love. Just a uh, scorn, maybe? But keep your head on a swivel. You're facing Sonia Deville first, and she's not a huge fan of nepotism. Well, well, well. You're lucky that I'm not running this tournament. We're all lucky you're not running this tournament. Because then you just figure out a way to give yourself the crown and we'd have always made a trip. At least every contestant would deserve to be here. I had nothing to do with that and I had no idea that anyone was getting bumped for me. But now that I'm here, I plan on proving I belong. Whatever. I guess it's up to me to send you back home. Because that's where you belong. Good luck with that, Sonia. She's got her in her sights. 
nice work against Sonia last week, LJ. Really strong performance. I uh, reckon you saw your face in Selena tonight, eh? Definitely. She talks a big game, but I can handle her. Yeah, about that. Uh, I get the impression you might not just be her tonight. Uh, she's bringing out a friend with her. Beth Spartan. You know, the bird who spot you nicked. You mean the woman who spot you offered me? Yeah, I hardly feel like we need to debate semantics. My point is, some people might suggest you uh, strike first and take Beth out before she can be a factor. Some people or you? Me? No, I would never suggest something so underhanded. I like to play things with a straight bat. But some people, maybe those not involved in the tournament and who wouldn't be worried about accusations of favoritism, would have different ideas. After you got me an entry, I think we're past all that already. But for argument's sake, would these some people suggest I, what, ambush her backstage before the match? Yeah, something like that. Now, some blokes might say it's unnecessary and you'd be putting a bigger target on your back, but I say you do what you must to win. You mean the some people suggesting I attack her say that? Right, right. Not me, obviously. I'm giving myself a bit of a headache. I need to lie down. So, do you know what you're going to do? I don't see a need to stoop to Zelina's level. I can take on her and anyone she wants to bring out to intimidate me. I'll play it straight. And when she loses her shot at the crown tonight, at least she'll have a friend to console her. I love the confidence. Don't make it happen. This wrestler's grew up in the business, and now she's... All hail the queen. Queen Zelina. All hail Zelina. Queen Zelina Cole. Put some respect on the crown's name. wondering whether the fireworks will be inside the ring or out. You gotta love Beth Spartan making it clear you can't push her out of this tournament that easily. And you gotta wonder why someone wouldn't just take her out before letting it get to this point. That could be a costly mistake. She manages to get control. Uh-oh. This is not gonna be pretty. Oh, man. Targeting the leg. Lights out, and she maintains this consistent offense. 
She's taking command of the situation. And there was some force on that move. Uh-oh. About to hit! Now that was a proper victory. <laughs> Selena wasn't ready for what you were bringing. Maybe next time she'll spend more time training and less time running her mouth. It did feel really good to knock her out of the picture. Don't lose focus. Still got one more match and Bianca Belair standing between you and Queen's Crown Glory. You're right. I've got to remain focused. And at least right now, I know that I can turn all my attention towards Bianca and stop worrying about Zelina and Beth. Take care of Bianca, and no matter what anyone says, you'll head home as royalty. I mean, not in an official sense, but you do get to keep the crown. I think. I'll ask. But I still wouldn't count on Zelina and Beth to put all the mucking about behind her. You might want to keep an eye out for any tomfoolery. Head, head, swivel, got it.
no longer in someone else's shadow. This wrestler has a bright future. The following is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Mumbai, India. The Placement or not, this woman was proven she was the one who deserved the slot. She can't be happy just to be here, otherwise, the EST is going to be the Royal Est. Slam! And Bel Air gets beat to the punch. Rolling Thunder Stunner. Adding a level of insult to that. This is excruciating. Oh, what an escape. Fez Quest takes him down. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Here we go. I don't think Zelina's quite ready to walk away from this tournament. Oh, it looks like it's just not a game. We'll see what impact that has on this match. She's pushed into the corner. Boom, right to the midsection. That. Into a real torn lariat, what a combination! Oh yeah, she is really showing her confidence. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Nice buster! Man, that was vicious. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. She's feeling the hurt here. She can withstand the punishment though. Play there. And a stun. Uh oh. What about the hit? She says, no thanks. Uh oh. Somersault plunge to the floor. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Joy shattering boot. Them hooked. Rolling cutter. And Bianca turning around. Driven into the barricade. She's got an answer for that. Bang! Butter! Bianca's losing any remnants of control now. Bianca here in a disheartening position. Flying! Good lord! Flight taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Uh oh. About to hit. Bel Air really found herself in the wrong place there. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Bash ran right off the post on the outside. Well, 
Corey. Congratulations, your majesty. <laughs> You'll forgive me if I don't bow at my age. If I go down, I might never get back up. As long as you're doing it in spirit. <laughs> Quite right. So how does it feel? It always feels better to win. Especially when it's a whole journey instead of just a single match. But I feel good, tired, happy. A little surprised. I assumed Zelina was going to try something else. I agree. I expected more from Zelina. Some kind of tomfoolery. Oh, speaking of, there was a small incident in the lockers during your match. Don't look like anything's been nicked. Someone silly stringed everyone's bags. Huh. 
dumb prank, I guess it's someone's idea of a good time. Weird. Are you heading straight back to the States, or are you going to hang around a bit? I know some folks at my local would love to shake hands with a queen. Or at least I queen. I've got to get back. Maybe next time? I'll hold you to it, love. Have a nice flight.
Dana Brooke, the 24-7 champion, looking confident tonight. She's been doing a lot of talking, oh, but apparently not enough watching her back. 24-7 rules being temporarily suspended during this 24-7 championship defense. Yeah, no sneaking up on the champ quickly into the cover with the title on the line. And she gets a quick kick out. She had it scouted. Uh-oh. About to hit rock bottom. She steers clear of that one. Knee strike to the back. Oh, and a rear super kick. From behind, nasty. A oh, float over Russian leg sweep. Uh-oh. About to hit rock bottom. Forearm to the face. Ooh-wee. A rolling fire into a stunner. A uh, float over Russian leg sweep. Hooked up. Juicy Garoshi neckbreaker. And some effective offense with that one. Left foot hop. Here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. One, two. No, the champ holds on. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Ooh. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Oh, oh face first. Oh, man, by the hair! Ooh. Hair whip! <laughs> Looks like Dana Brooke has a little swagger in her... <laughs> Cutting her off there. Smart strategy. <laughs> a rolling thunder into a stunner! Oh boy, that's a determined stare that's come across her face. Hoist it up. Boom! Feast your eyes. That's a few times now she's taken a hit up in that region. Cover! One, two, three. And just like that, there's a new 24-7 champion. And a new superstar who's got to sleep with one eye open. Yeah, there's nothing like holding that title. You never get a moment to relax. Speak of the devil. And Dana Brooke might not be giving up either. The new champ better find a good hiding spot while she catches her breath.
going to do something amazing. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's trophy. The ref holding this title longer than you did, Saxton. Four women in an all-out falls count anywhere match with a 24-7 title on the line tonight. In a chaotic match like this, I keep an eye on Katana Chance. Her quickness could be a real asset here. Come on, Saxton. There's a reason she didn't walk in here with the title, and a reason she's not walking out with it either. I'm betting on the champ to retain. She's in flying into the corner, and an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Ah, oh, look at this. Looking for a suplex here. The center cutter. And did you hear the impact of that? Oh, that might have just broken something. Decimating the knee. Fans Chris takes him down. And he just busted out an impactful maneuver. She heads into the ring. Boom! Oh, into an AA. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, Someone just threw their plan out the window. Dangerous intentions in her mind right now. The challenger's looking shaken. She's absorbed some hits, but she... Double stretch! It's locked in! This is a great way to wear down your opponent. I'm not sure...
fantastic. This match could be over real fast. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. And she kicks out right away. Late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable pop. She's into the ring again. I'm sure you're disappointed with that loss, but this is probably for the best. That's what you told me after John Buckley asked Jackie Ollier to prom instead of me. And I was right then, too. That John Buckley was bad news. He's an anesthesiologist now with a massive house outside of San Diego. And who wants to live there? Look, just like back then, this frees you up to focus and get to the level we both know you're capable of reaching. Yes, yes, I know. So no more 24-7? Fine. For now. You'll thank me later. What do you want? Oh, no, 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 no. I hope you're not going to ask me about teaming up. As one half of the first ever women's tag team champions, I understand why you'd want to, but the answer is no. What are you talking about? Are you really so out of the loop? Ding dong, hello. All anyone who's anyone is talking about are the rumors that management is going to have a tag team money in the bank ladder match. Whoever wins the briefcase gets a contract they can cash in for a tag team championship match. You get all that, you dummy? I get why everyone's talking about it. That's some interesting gossip. Wait a dang nab second here. You're not planning on entering, are you? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed a laugh. You wanted to talk to me? I heard the rumors and I want to be in the tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. Tag team? Money in the Bank? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, never mind. It's already the worst kept secret in WWE. But did I miss something? Are you in a tag team now? No, but since when was that a barrier to entry? Seems like WWE's whole deal is putting teammates together at the last minute for matches. Not all of them even like each other. <laughs> Touche. All right, I can get you an opportunity. Yes! To qualify. Ah! 
And don't think I'm going to play tag team matchmaker. Most of the women on the roster are looking for a partner to swipe right on so that they can win the briefcase and challenge Asuka and Tamina for the titles. I don't have time for it. Find a partner and I'll get you in the qualifying match. Now that, I can do. Thanks. Just make the most of it. Winning the tag championships would be no small accomplishment. I'm sure you heard about the tag team Money in the Bank match, right? I would be lying if I said I'm not intrigued. I'm pretty interested too. Winning the first ever tag team Money in the Bank would be very cool. Do you have a partner? Mm, not yet. Do you? I'm also looking. We can make a great team. I know I have a rocky history with tag team partners, but I think our shared perspective could be pretty powerful. <laughs> and what's that? Standing in someone else's shadow instead of your own? I could never help shake the feeling that I was playing backup to someone else in my previous tag teams. My family's legacy is not the same as feeling that way about your tag team partners. I didn't say it was the same. I just mean I might understand a little bit about where you're coming from. And I think it's important for tag team partners to understand each other. Anyway, if you want to team up, I'd be interested. Let me know. This is all so exciting! A Money in the Bank briefcase with a tag team championship contract? Sign me up! Fanny! I thought you were still at NXT! But are you trying to enter the Money in the Bank match? Uh, do you have a partner? I am at NXT, but no rule said I can't compete for those tag team titles! I'm looking for a partner. I want to team up with someone who's as excited about this as I am. You know, with raw ambition. Honestly? I think that's what got me to WWE in the first place. Wanting it so badly, I wasn't always as good in the ring as I am now. I get that. Sometimes it's what makes the difference and gets you the win. I'm ambitious too. I'll get back to you. Everyone in this locker room is acting like they've never heard of a tag team money in the bank match before. <laughs> you have? No, but my point is that I could have. I've been around WWE so long that I'm not thrown by anything new that management introduces. I am, after all, the most winning woman in all of WWE. Anyone will be lucky to team with me. Speaking of, do you have a partner? No, but I'm looking for one. Interesting, because I've already succeeded at what you're trying to do, winning the tag team titles, not to mention the SmackDown Women's Championship. We could make quite a splash, a former and future champion with an up and coming legacy superstar. 
And it won't be my first Money in the Bank match either. I doubt you'll find anyone else to partner with who has my level of experience. I hear you. Experience is important. Teaches you what to expect in the ring and what to avoid. I knew you'd get it. And I'm happy to share it all with you if you decide you want to give our partnership a go. Solid pitch. I'll get back to you. Of course it's solid. Like I said, I know this company like the back of my record-breaking hand. How go the trials and tribulations of a WWE superstar who's looking for true tag team partnership love? Huh? Never mind. How's it going, kid? I know from the chatter around here that you've got options, but I hope you're weighing them carefully. In success, a tag team partner is someone you'll be spending a lot of time with. It's actually how I first got to know your aunt. Yeah, I've actually been trying not to bring that up. I know it's a sore subject all around. Yeah, probably for the best. But it's also a great example of what can happen if you don't choose your partner wisely. Although, after we broke up, our past definitely did fuel our matches against each other. It made it better that we had actual history. Any advice? How do I choose? Decide what you think is most important in your partner. It's different for everyone. Do you want a team with someone who shares your values and perspective? Maybe you want a partner who's as ambitious and driven as you are. Or perhaps it's someone whose experience can help push you to your full potential. Anyway, lots of factors to consider. I think I have an idea of who I'm going to ask. Oh? I want to tag with someone who shares my perspective on things. I've made my decision. I'm asking Liv Morgan to be my partner. Interesting choice. I'll set you up for the first qualifying match tonight. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following cut. There's a woman who lives to find her partner from Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Lynn. Here comes the Pride Fighter. And a woman who is all about the power. And from Shamal. Straight from Calgary, it's Josie Jane. The road to the first ever WWE Tag Team Money in the Bank match begins right here on SmackDown. The brand new rookie and her brand new partner are kicking things off in a qualifying match against Tough as Nails veterans Sonya Deville and Josie Jane. I'll be watching to see if Justine's niece can keep her momentum going here after that big win against David Moreno. Partner to tag. She's in about as good a position as you could hope to be. Still, she's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Corner in 
Enziguri. DeVille struggling to defend herself. DeVille needs to be resourceful in this situation. This pair certainly has something to celebrate, qualifying for the first ever tag team Money in the Bank match. It was a huge win in their... What was that? Someone said help! Oh my God! What's that she's under? A, a fallen lighting rig? Help! How does this kind of accident even happen? Help. Do you really think this is just an accident, Corey? Well, what else could it be? This tag team's too new to have enemies. Oh, we hope she's okay. We'll keep you updated on this developing situation. Uh, hold on. Oh. Can't wait to get this space back. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> lift! Why is this so heavy? <sighs> that good? Nah, we gotta get it closer for pickup. Honestly, I'm just glad that you weren't the one who got hurt. Can you imagine? Taken out by a lighting rig. No, luckily recovery's only a few weeks. Too late to help me for the tag team Money in the Bank match, though. Even a small injury can mess with your head. Believe me, I know. Did they ever figure out how that thing fell? Unclear. Seems like dumb bad luck. For me, too. Finally figure out who to partner with and now they're not even cleared to compete. Such a bummer. We were just getting started together. You know, I always loved watching the tag matches the most when I was on the road with you. And those tapes of you and Molly tagging together weren't bad either. Ah, yes. Your new best friend, Molly. She's not my best friend. Don't you want me to be on good terms with management? Fine. You're right. Lift. I think those championships are so aspirational for me because WWE finally has them. After the women's titles were introduced in 2018, tag matches started to seem even more important. Ow! Excuse me? What did I do? No shade to the current generation, but I grew up watching women compete on TV in tag team championship matches. You did? I have clearly failed to teach you proper wrestling history. Yes! Did you think I grew up in a vacuum and one day said, 
I think I'll become a professional lady wrestler. No! I watched and was inspired just like you. For me, it was seeing the main event women's championship match at the Brawl to End It All in 84 that gave me the bug. But the tag champions back then were formidable too. I would have loved to see the superstars of today defend against some of the women I grew up idolizing on TV. So what happened to the titles? I don't know. Appetites changed. Management started putting their attention elsewhere and opportunities dried up. The championships, and a lot of the women themselves for that matter, got pushed aside. You did your stint in catering. You know what it's like. Yeah, not the best when you're fighting for limited opportunities. <laughs> you have way more opportunities than I ever did. If I had the chance to accomplish what you can... You accomplish plenty. Take even the current tag titles. Like you said, I never even had a chance to compete for a tag team championship when I was in WWE. They weren't a thing then. In fact, I heard you're in need of a partner. What do you say? Can you imagine? You and me standing as champions at WrestleMania? The Mysterios can't have a lock on this family thing. <laughs> Very funny. Like you could get in the ring again. Did I tell you that Molly said I can't even pick my own replacement partner? Oh? Your best friend isn't letting you call the shots? Oh, shush. No, everyone's clamoring to team up with me since I've already secured the money in the bank opportunity. So they're having a fatal four-way on Raw to decide. Interesting method. You know, on second thought, maybe I want to keep this desk. So many memories. Justine! Kidding, kidding. <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three. Seriously? You? Yes! Me! What can I say? I'm a winner, baby! Molly, come on! I can't work with her! What about the stuff you said when you were asking to be put into this match? About tag teams being thrown together at the last minute, not even liking each other? This seems pretty standard for WWE, if I'm being honest. But what about the stuff you said about picking my tag team partner carefully? Don't use my own words against me. That's what I was trying to do to you. <sighs> anyway, there's no need to argue. This has been decided. And I, for one, am very excited to find out whether the two of you can coexist. Won't be a problem for me. I don't believe that for a second. You probably cheated to win the fatal four-way in the first place. Cool it. Don't forget, if you two set your differences aside and pull this thing off, you both win. And so you guys don't blow it and embarrass me, I've set up a training session before the actual Money in the Bank match. You can work out your issues and also practice your ladder climbing abilities. Meet me at the PC.
You know what? I think we work better as a team when you stay out of my way. I actually agree with you on that front because that means you're away from me too. Why did you even enter that fatal four-way? You knew winning would mean teaming up with me. And give up the chance to be a tag team champion? Even my dislike of you can't sour my thirst for those titles. Fine, then let's not get in each other's way against whoever Molly has lined up for us. Then we should decide who's going for the pin, just so there's no confusion. I'll get the pen. I'm not leaving this up to you. Fine. Go for it.
Where'd Trish go? Certainly wasn't expecting to see her tonight, but I'd love to see what she thought of our matchup. She peaced right after the match. We could never stand to spend that much time together. Didn't you see any of our singles matches? Not the biggest fan of me. But she came to team with you? Yes, she did. Because despite our differences, we respect each other. And we respect what happens in the ring. That's my point. You don't need to like each other to win. But you guys lost. I'm not saying we took it easy on you, but we're WWE legends. I'm choosing not to process that last comment. I don't want to ruin this moment of getting a victory over you and Trish Stratus. Fine by me, but you get my point. You two are as ready as you're going to be. Just try not to kill each other before the Money in the Bank match, okay? Fine. We both want to win. Maybe that's enough common ground between us. Maybe.